dryicecentercoolers.com. What I want to show you today is a little bit more about how to uh, freeze the inside container for the intercoolers that I sell with a real fast and efficient way which is using nitrous oxide. You may have seen the video that showed the dry ice and how it cools the, the box. And you might have seen the one about the uh, putting regular ice in it, which also cools the box, but not as efficiently and quickly as the nitrous oxide does. You may see that I uh, sell two types of intercoolers. These are basically dry ice intercoolers. There's no liquid that goes through them. Only the air intake charge coming in one side, exiting the other side as it goes through the tubes that are inside the box. These tops are removable. That's where you insert the ice or dry ice. But when using nitrous oxide, you want to make sure the top is fully secure because you're basically pressurizing this box. There's a drain cock at the bottom of all of these boxes, so if you do use regular ice, you can drain the water off after it melts. We're going to concentrate on the big box right now. These small boxes are for four and six cylinder engines big boxes accommodate six and eight cylinder engines. The small box has a two and a half inch intake and exhaust port. The big box has four inch intake and exhaust ports. So as you can see right here, on the top of the box is a vent. This vent is for the nitrous oxide. When it enters the box, it freezes the tubes inside the box and it exits through the vent, which will go through the floorboard of your car. You don't want to vent the tubes uh, inside the vehicle. These boxes are designed to go inside of the vehicle. So what you want to remember is the tubing is coming out of the engine compartment through the firewall into one of these sides of the box. It goes through the tubes, the aluminum tubes that are inside, and exit the other side. When you hit the nitrous oxide button, this box freezes nitrous oxide is extremely cold. The point that you want to hit the nitrous if you're using that on this box is right when you stage the car, pre-stage the car. When you pre-stage the car, you activate the nitrous oxide which starts the freezing of the box. With a turbocharger and a supercharger, you're going to be spooling the motor up. So the air intake is very, very hot coming into the box. The box freezes instantly with the nitrous oxide, cools the air charge down, heads back to the throttle body of the carburetor of your vehicle. So with all that said, just remember this box is designed to go on the inside of the vehicle. There's a tube here on top, it's a blow down or a vent tube that goes to the outside of the vehicle so the nitrous can escape the, uh, can escape the inside of the car. You're probably going to see nitrous coming out the back of this tube, which is okay because I want to show you for demonstration purposes. What you want to keep an eye on is this box right here because it's going to freeze instantly. Keep in mind, you pre-stage the car, you activate the nitrous bottle, which freezes the box, cools down the intake charge so when you leave the starting line, you've got cool air going back into your intake. These boxes are designed to replace the air to water intake. Uh, boxes, intake uh, cool, intercoolers. The reason for that is because those water to air intake uh, intercoolers, after they expand and contract many times, the epoxy inside on the cores, it breaks. Liquid enters the intake charge and a lot of times, more often than too many times, will hydraulic your motor and kick the rods right out of the oil pan. Okay, with all that said, I just want to show you real quickly, keep an eye on this box right here, because when I activate the nitrous oxide, you can imagine air is coming in here when you pre-stage, you freeze this box, it cools down that air charge, six, seven second pass, uh, you've gone through about five to six pounds of nitrous oxide, but you've cooled this box down instantly. Okay, keep an eye on this box right here, as soon as I open the nitrous, it's going to freeze this box. Here we go.
you can see this box is frozen inside. The air intake going in is extremely cold inside here. Your hot air enters, goes through the frozen tubes that we just froze, six seconds, seven second pass. You've got a solid ice ice box inside of here. The nitrous has expended. You might have to convince your tech official though that this nitrous oxide is not entering the intake charge. It's only cooling this box down for your air to come back into your throttle body or your carburetor. But as you can see, this box is frozen. It's done its job. Go back to the pit, get the car ready for the next round, switch the bottle or refill your nitrous bottle. You're ready to go again. Much more efficient than dry ice, which is hard to, hard to store and hard to come by. Nitrous oxide, of course, is very available. And uh, if you have a source for nitrous oxide, it won't be uh, very expensive to use this type of system. The box is frozen. You can see all of the tubes inside are frozen. The air passing through it has cooled down probably 100 degrees easily. You've got a 350 degree intake charge going in. You probably got 140 degree air coming out, which is much more manageable than the 400 degrees. To make this even cooler, you might want to hook up the nitrous a little bit earlier so the box freezes sooner to get down around at 70 or 80 degree uh, intake air. Okay, just another way to cool down the dry ice intercooler inter box. Thanks so much for watching.